All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2 Reloaded, father and son style. The hero. We're going to be working on two separate things. Tyler is working on the smelter system here still. He has finally figured out his issues, and he's trying to get us some tools and stuff, while I did some research on the agricultural mod, which hopefully will uh, get us... Um, these cows are going nuts over here, by the way. Which hopefully will get us some sort of uh, sprinkler system to start doing our crops over here. So, I'm gonna put a water tank. Cause I have, I have no idea what to do with those cows you've got going, by the way. <laughs> Alright, so apparently we've got a water tank here. And we've got irrigation channels that we can use. Like this that I'm thinking we should be able to put, let's see, another water tank there. Let's do another irrigation channel there and there. All right, no, that's not gonna work because I'm offsetting them. There, we can get those back. I'm gonna break the water tank as well. We're gonna put the water tank there. We'll do an irrigation canal there. And there. And then hopefully we can go, let's see, maybe just like that with our sprinkler system. And then we should have some water that we can put going across the other way as well. Okay, there we go. Okay, that looks much much better. We'll also do some more canals going this way, or water channels, like that, like that, and then we need to do some, let's see, maybe we'll do two water right there. Okay, now I need to get some water, I think. There should be water in there in your sprinklers yeah i don't know how much more water i need in the sprinkler system though but i'm gonna go get some more are you still using that other bucket uh yeah you need it no it's fine i'll uh i'll make do with this one i'm just gonna see if this works or not all right i'm gonna put some wood over here Okay, so the water is gone now. Let's see, let's put the water in there. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to fill up. You know what we really need is, is there a way to like direct water with like a pipe system, like an infinite water source? Uh, do you know? I think so, yeah. That would be- do it? No. <laughs> Cause I think it'd be cool to have an infinite water source spring over here somewhere that I can like pipe uh, like water into the canals, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I think that that probably would work actually pretty well here, so let me watch out, cows. There we go. That. Okay, so the sprinkler system, if I remember right, was wooden blocks, iron, and buckets. So let's get some more iron here. We've got the wooden planks. We need our iron bars. Let's take a look at this again. We need again. to figure that obsidian thing out, though. Yes, we do. So we're going to make another four, if we can, of our sprinkler systems here. So wood, iron, and bucket. So wood, iron, and bucket and then we need those on each side. So I need to make some more buckets though really quick. One, two, and three. More buckets. Three buckets. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wow, just enough iron to make our fourth sprinkler system. 
So yeah, that's another thing. So I think this episode, Tyler, we need to, I think we should start working on our mob system here. So we can start yeah. getting all of our drops mm -hmm. and whatnot going. Yeah. I also wanted to make some more water buckets, actually. Don't know if I really need them or not. One and two, three and four. We'll make four of those just to be safe. I don't know if I need this many of them or not, but I'm gonna have them just as a, uh, just in case. Okay, so we'll go one and two, three and four, and then we'll connect our irrigation channels. So anybody in our comments who was watching us doing the uh, the crucible thing, what we were doing wrong, I just figured it out why, and we're gonna get roasted for it. Oh, what were we Calling doing? Calling it now. Mm -hmm. uh, we are using crucibles. We need to make a stone bucket or a stone barrel. Mm -hmm. Instead of a crucible for the lava or the the obsidian mm -hmm. generator. Yeah. You say we need to make a stone barrel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A stone barrel. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I said. Well, I'm trying to click on the stone barrel to see what we need to craft it. Mm -hmm. Uh, you that's need a stone six slab. Yeah, six, six regular stone and then six smooth stone and a yep. and a stone slab. Yeah, so I'm going to make that really quick. Okay, thank you. Cuz I really wanted to get that like rolling. So yeah. That is why we weren't having anything happen. Okay. All right, so we should have a sprinkler sprinkler system going on here mm. now. Mm. Maybe I'll make two more, but I'm going to have to make some rails really quick here. Some of those. And then we're going to do one, two. Oh, we need one, two. We need buckets really quick as well. One, two. Buckets. And then we're gonna do two buckets, and then one, two, one, two, two more sprinklers, and bam. Okay. And then we should be able to do like that for the middle. Bam. Why is this not working now? Perfect. Keep breaking stuff. All right, so our sprinkler and irrigation system's all installed. It's just I got to figure out how to get it all working, though, because I've got to get water over there, like an infinite water spring. So Just like, grab water from over here. No, no, no. I meant like uh, an infinite water spring to get into the pipes, to, to oh. constantly be keep filling them. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Huh. Okay, so we'll put the extra pieces to everything we didn't need in there, along with that. And our iron bars. And we'll put our clay and flint over on this side here. And then let's see for that's uh, iron, powdered iron ore. Oh god. Iron ore dust. Nope, oh, that doesn't do anything. Okay. So the iron ore dust um, is what we're needing to make into the iron ore, right? Uh, yes, something like that. Or do we sift the iron ore dust, or do we break it down into powdered iron ore? Huh. I'm trying to remember what we did here. Those are the seared bricks. Huh. We'll see what one of these does here. Oh, I just collected two. Hey. You just threw obsidian at me. Is it working now? Yeah. Sweet. How fast is it making it? Uh, instantly, but we gotta put lava in there and now I'm not able to pick up lava now. Really? It's all being drained into this. So right click that with lava, cool. right here. Right click this and you can pull lava from that. Wow. 
That's all we needed that whole time was just the the right bucket. <laughs> yep. Ah! <laughs> I misclicked. Something we don't want to do is misclick placing these, by the way, because we have nothing to break them down. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so over here is where I'm wanting to place the nether portal. I would like to have the nether portal right here and the aether portal right here. Here's the two, by the way. The two that you threw me. Okay, I just need flint. There you go. I already made it. So we. Yeah. Bam, and then right next to it is just enough room to make our aether portal, right? Yep. It'll probably take a second for you to get in just because it'll be creating all the terrain. Or did it bring you in already? No, it's just doing its little wobbly thing. Yeah. Did it take that long for you too? Yeah. Are you in the, are you in there? No, it's still making all the terrain. I'm in now. I just heard an explosion. Two oh. explosions, three explosions, four explosions, oh. five, six, seven. Look at all the lava pouring happening. from the ceiling over there. Oh, God. Oh, there's mushrooms right here. That's good. Glowstone right over there. I need that glowstone so we can make yeah. our... Wait. We should probably... Oh, there's a tree. There's a tree here? Yeah. How do you do the, uh, the waypoints in this one? Uh, B. B. All right, name, uh, portal entrance save. Oh God, what is that noise? I, I put a, uh, a waypoint here so we won't get lost. All right. Uh-oh, I hear, th oh God, there's spiders. Oh, I'm out of here. I'm leaving. <laughs> I can't get us. I don't think we're ready for that yet. <laughs> no, we don't have any tools. We have no weapons, we have no armor. Oh my. Okay, yeah, so look at my irrigation. How does it work? I don't know. Oh! Oh no! What are you doing? I just got done building this, and we cannot break that now. I can break it, it'll just take a while. Ugh. Anyway, I, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, is I want to have like an infinite water spring like over here, like maybe off to the side, and I want to have it drawing water up into my tanks up here. Okay. I just don't know how to turn the sprinklers on because I don't think it's got enough water to do it, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so let's start. Let's go ahead and leave that. You can break that later. I'm already at 40%. Okay. So what are we going to need to start our mob system? That's what we really wanted to start working on. Uh, just lots and lots of cobblestone oh, and slabs. Cobblestone slabs? Yeah. Okay. Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks of it. Do you need more than seven stacks of slabs? Uh, I think so. That should be good. Okay. So how do you withdraw the cobblestone uh, from the box over here? Do you shift right click or something? Shift left click to get a stack out. Can you not pull it out of this oak drawer that's tied into the system over here? No, you can. Shift left click. It's not doing um, anything. Are you shift left clicking on the face of it? No. That's what it is, okay. There you I didn't go. realize you had to actually shift left click on the face. All right, so I have I'm getting a bunch more stacks of your slabs, by the way. This okay. little, this is gonna be difficult for me to do just for the simple fact that I don't have what I had on your me and Jordan's world. Oh, the boots? Yeah. So. Well, I, well, I have all the slabs over here. What else are you needing to, to make? Uh, grab this. I remember you saying you needed to make, um, 
a fan. Yeah. And, and a, a vacuum. Yeah, the vacuum hopper. The vacuum hopper. Which, here's the two obsidian for it if you want to make it. For the vacuum. I think we need an eye of ender first actually to do that, so we need our mob trap anyway. We might not have enough for it. Let me get rid of some of this dust. All right, so you said I needed these two obsidian to make the uh, vacuum? Yeah, something like that. I can't even read half of the uh, the things because, is it a vacuum hopper? Yeah. So one obsidian, a regular hopper, and an eye of ender. So to make a regular hopper, we just need a chest and iron ingots. Okay. Let's do a chest. And then we need um, iron ingots around it. So something probably like this. And then a chest in the middle. There's the hopper. All right, so now. I need those slabs. All right, I just need an eye of ender, an eye of ender by the way. <clears throat> okay, I'm coming. I wish Faster. I could just drop them all. You can shift, press and hold shift, and then press Q on one of them. There you go. If you need more, let me know. I will probably need more than that, honestly. Okay. And an eye of ender, the only way to get those is by getting all the pearls, right, from the enderman? Yeah. So we need to have this rolling in order for me to even continue. Right now I have the hopper and the obsidian, but I don't have the eye of ender yet, so... Do you need me to make you some more slabs then? Uh, yeah. Okay. Just in case. I'll also need to bring wood up with me. Oh, like regular planks? Yeah. Okay, I'll bring, uh... Do you want wooden planks or just regular wooden slabs? Uh... Both. Okay, so we got some... We're actually kind of running out of wooden planks now, by the way. We have so many yeah, freaking slabs. They're all slabs. slabs. <laughs> you can turn the slabs back into planks. Yeah, I might have to start doing that. Mm, I should probably bring torches too, just so that we don't get attacked while I'm up there. And iron. I need to make those fans, the stone, and. All right, so let's come over there. Far as torches go, here I'll make you some torches real quick. All right, here is everything that I got for you. Here's torches. Here is slabs. Here's all the iron we have. Here's planks. And you need more slabs, which is what I'm working on right now. Yeah. Um. Make some more of these slabs really quick. We're gonna try and find this fan here. I dropped more slabs on you. All right. So we need iron bars. I gave you all my iron bars. Yeah. Iron. 
Iron bars. Slab. All right. Okay, so we should be good on that sort of stuff. We should, we have plenty of cobblestone to make more slabs if you end up needing it. Yeah, I should have plenty of cobblestone slabs now. Oh, what else was I need? You said something about a fan, or is that what you're making? I've got, I already, yeah, I already made it. Okay. Uh, let me make sure that I can make switches really quick. This is what we're saving the heart glass for, guys. This is gonna be awesome. Uh, yeah, so we'll make a bunch of switches just cause. So what All else right, do you so need? Um, you need a chest, don't you, underneath the vacuum? Yeah, but we'll get to that once I... Okay. What about, um, you were saying something about it's gonna be a little bit harder to do. What about what? building... Do you want me to build like some sort of a ladder system going up and down it so you can climb up and down? No, it'll be fine. Okay. Are you already misplacing things? Yes. <laughs> I see that. Well, the monsters shouldn't be able to spawn up there because they're slabs, right? Depending on where the slabs are, yeah. So basically, guys, what he's going to end up doing is he's going to end up building the foundation of the mob system here. And what's going to happen is see how he just built that next layer and that layer. Hold on, Tyler, before you get any higher. How are you doing on your slabs? Just fine. Okay. And just like that, he is building the center mass of the mob system. And I'll stop once I get to 125. <laughs> yep. Howdy. How's it going? I wish I had the zoom on here. <laughs> oh, for Optifine? Yeah. So basically, guys, what he has done is he's made a mo uh, the base foundation skeleton system of a mob system. So what he's doing is, is in the center of it, which I can't go inside there and look for you, but on the inside of it there, what it does is, is it's completely hollowed out. And then the mob system, or the mobs are going to spawn on a huge platform. He's going to build on each side of it up there. And then the mobs are going to spawn. And then they're going to fall straight down and they're going to land on a cobblestone platform. And correct me if I'm wrong on anything, Tyler. Um, right. They're going to land on this uh, cobblestone platform down here inside the glass. And then on this side, he's going to have a fan system that's going to blow the loot over here and then we're gonna have a vacuum system on this side that's going to suck the loot in and then deposit it into a chest down to here sound about uh, right yeah bam look at that so now your mob system's four by the way four wide so are you gonna have like the fans kind of offset or are you gonna have two fans and two vacuums or something or no i'm using the fans up here to blow the mobs into the hole so they fall down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So up there, I didn't know what he's going to have. So what sort of stuff are you building up there that's going to cause the mobs to come down here? Yeah. No, I said, what are you have? What are you building up there that's causing the oh, mobs? I, you cut out, so I just kind of assumed what you had said. <laughs> uh, what am I building up here? I'm just building these little wings out, and then I'm going to put the fans up here, and then... Uh, just put a switch in between them and then turn them on and then just run away. <laughs> <laughs> and then run away? Yeah. Are you just going to fall down here and die and then just collect your stuff? Yeah. Alright. So either way, it's a suicide mission. So what about the cobblestone? You didn't put cobblestone down inside the glass down here for them to you land keep... on. Uh, it's because they don't need to land on the cobblestone to die. They don't have to land on cobblestone. Oh, okay. Did you torch it up there? Not yet, because I don't have to worry about it yet. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. We have now got our mob system started. We will pick it back up again once he has finished building up there, and once the mob system is actually started, we'll show the installation of the vacuums, the fans, and all that sort of stuff, and basically how it works. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Okay, thanks, bye.